In the action-adventure game Atomic Heart, players have to complete several tasks and side quests, including the Locate the Missing Student task. In this Bioshock-like sci-fi game, players must explore the post-apocalyptic ruins of the Soviet Union, populated by rogue robots and parasitic mutants. In an effort to discover and stop the source of the widespread mutations, players will stop at nothing to help those in need. Players will discover the guide's corpse as they explore the museum. In keeping with Atomic Heart's eerie, surreal and exciting design, Dead Guides asks you to find three missing students who escaped during a robot attack. Maybe they're alive, maybe they're dead, but the wizard's body can't relax until they know what happened. Atomic Heart is running out of students to find. The four students are scattered throughout the museum, and players can take it for granted to search every corner. But it would be much better to have a guide. The first student can be found in the botanical part of the museum, in a hallway behind some closed doors. Like much of Atomic Heart's plot, the player progresses by talking to corpses. A man calling himself Oracle can be tricked into opening the door, and the player finds the corpse of one student on the stairs. The conversation with the corpse is short and a bit depressing. The next student can be found in the Sakhalin exhibit on the second floor next to the stairwell, and infected plants. She also died. The cleaning robot will try and fail to move the body and can be done with a simple shake. The player can then talk to the corpse and advance the mission. The third student is next to the power relay at the top of the museum. Judging by the current mission and the destruction we've seen in the many Atomic Heart trailers, he's dead. At least he didn't walk away from the group, in his own words. The body of the fourth and final student was located in the medical area on the third floor. Unlike the others, her final thoughts are stuck in an endless loop of how she died, but the game reveals that she's part of the ride. The wizard is happy that it's done, but she doesn't give the player a reward, just some complaints and some useful information on Atomic Heart. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, and support my channel.